This is section 8.4, Scientific Notation. So part of this is going to be a review. I want to make sure that everyone can convert to and from scientific notation. And then I also want to make sure that everyone can multiply, divide, and raise to a power numbers that are written in scientific notation. So why do we use scientific notation? Well, the main reason is to write numbers that are very large or very small. It just gives us a more convenient way um, to write those numbers. Now, the general form of scientific notation is C times 10 to the nth power. C is a number that's between 1 and 10. And N is the exponent, and that exponent can be an integer. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. I want to rewrite this in decimal form. So right now I'm in scientific notation. I have 2.834 times 10 to the second power. So I'm going to move my decimal over two places. One, two. So my new answer is 283.4. Now let's look at 4.9 times 10 to the fifth power. I have a positive exponent. That exponent is 5. Now 4.9, and I'm going to move my decimal place five places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my decimal. Now all of these spaces where I don't have any numbers I'm going to fill those in with zeros. So that gives me 490,000. Now I have 7.8 times 10 to the negative 1 power. Notice that this time my exponent is negative. So I'm going to be going in the negative direction. So I'm going to go over 1. So this would be 0.78. Now let's look at 1.23 times 10 to the negative 6. Let me rewrite 1.23. Now my exponent is negative 6. And notice with exponential notation, it's OK to have a negative exponent. So now we're going to move the decimal place to the left six places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's my decimal place. Fill in the zeros where I don't have any numbers. So my answer for this is 0 .000000. 000 000 000 000 1, 2, 3. Okay, now let's look at some that we're going to write in scientific notation. I have 34,690. I want to write it in scientific notation. So my decimal, even though I don't see it, is located at the back. So I want to fix this. So let's see. I'm going to go one, two, three, four places. So when I rewrite this, I have 3.469. I'm not going to write the 0 times 10. See how many times did we move it? 1, 2, 3, 4. So times 10 to the fourth power. Notice that this number, 3.469, is between 1 and 10. Now let's look at 1.78. Now this one's kind of tricky. Well, this number's already between 1 and 10. I don't need to move it to adjust the size. So when I write this one, I'm just going to write 1.78 times 10 to the 0 power. Because remember, any number written to the 0 power is just 
1. So 1 1.78 times 1 is still just 1.78. Now let's rewrite um, problem C. I'm moving my exponent again, I'm sorry, my um, decimal place again. I'm moving it one, two, three, four places. Now I'm moving my decimal place until I get a number that's between one and 10. So this is gonna give me 7.22. See, I moved it one, two, three, four places. So it's going to be 7.22 times 10 to the negative 4. So I move the decimal place to the right. When I move my decimal place to the right, I'm going to have a negative exponent. I've got five billion six hundred million. So I want to write this in scientific notation. My decimal place is right here. So I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Make myself a little note so I don't forget and have to count again. So I have 5.6, that's between 1 and 10, times 10 to the ninth power. Now another thing that we're going to be able to do with scientific notation is we're going to be able to multiply. So whenever we're multiplying two numbers that are written in scientific notation, we're going to multiply the coefficient we're going to keep our base of 10 and we're going to add the exponents. Super important step is you have to check your answer to see if it is still in scientific notation. Sometimes when you multiply it won't be in scientific notation anymore. Okay, now let's look at a couple of examples. I have 1.4 times 10 to the fourth times 7.6 times 10 to the third power. I want to multiply these. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, multiply the two coefficients, 1.4 times 7.6. So 1.4 times 7.6 gives me 10.64. So I have 10.64 times 10 to the, okay, now I'm going to add my exponents. So I kept my base of 10, adding my exponents, 4 plus 3 gives me 7. So now I need to double check and make sure that my answer is still in scientific notation. 10.64, is it between 1 and 10? No, I need to move it one more place. So I need to move my decimal place to the left one. So my new answer is 1.064 times 10 to the what power? 10 to the eighth power. Now let's look at the next one. I have 8 times 10 to the sixth times 200 times 10 to the negative fifth. Well, what is 8 times 200? Well, 8 times 200 gives me 1,600. Well, that's definitely not a good number for me. So times 10 to the, oh, what's 6 plus negative 5? 1. So now let's go through and let's move our decimal place. So I'm going to move it one, two, three places. So when I do that, I get 1.6 times 10. Let's see, I moved it one, two, three. Moved it three times. Three plus one gives me four. 
1.6 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, now I want you to do this next one. So go ahead and pause the video. No, I really meant it. Please pause it. Okay, so now that you, I'm sure you paused it for me. So now I want you to double check your answer. You should have gotten 1.45 times 10 to the seventh. Okay, now we're going to divide with scientific notation. First thing you're going to do is you're going to divide the coefficients. Keep your base 10. You want to leave it in the numerator. You're going to subtract the exponents this time. And then just like last time, you're going to check to see if your answer is still in scientific notation. So let's do um, a couple of quick evaluations. So 2.0286 divided by 3.15. So I'm going to divide these two numbers. It's OK to get a decimal. So now I get, when I divide that, I get 0.644. I'm going to keep my base of 10. Now I'm going to subtract my coefficients. The coefficient in the numerator, I'm sorry, not the coefficient, the exponents. What's 8 minus 3? 5. And it's always going to be the exponent in the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator. Now, am I in scientific notation? Nope. I need to move this guy, this decimal place, over one space. So now I get 6.44 times 10 to the fourth power. Now let's do it again. 1.2 divided by 4.8. That gives me 0.25 times 10. Now, what is negative 1 minus negative 4? Negative 1 minus negative 4. Oh, that's going to give me a positive 3 because a double negative is a positive. So I've got positive 4 minus 1, so that gives me 3. I am no longer in scientific notation because 0.25 is less than 1 move that guy over one time. So I have 2.5 times 10 squared. Okay, now I want you to do C. It's going to work exactly the same way. The problem's just written a little bit different. So 1.82 divided by 1.4 and then subtract your exponents. The exponent in the first one minus the exponent in your second one. So hit pause, work that, and then I'll have the answer for you. Okay, so the answer for this one is 1 1.3 times 10 to the second power. Okay, now we're going to look at scientific notation to a power. Everything in here is multiplied. 4.0 times 10 to the negative 2 cubed. So we really have a power to a power. So what we're going to be doing, this 4.0 is really kind of to the first power, right? Oh, what do I do when I have a power to a power? I multiply my exponents. So my base is 4. 1 times 3 gives me 3. Times 10 is my base. Exponents multiplied. Negative 2 times positive 3 gives me a negative 6. Now I know that 4 to the third power means 4 times 4, which is 16, times 4, which is 64. So I have 64 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Am I in scientific notation? No, I need to move this over. So I have 6.4 times 10 to the negative 5. Now I want you to do the last one, 2.1 times 10 to the negative 3 squared. So hit pause and I'll give you the answer in a sec. Okay, so when I finish this one, I have 2.1 squared times 10 to the negative 6, which gives me 4.41 times 10 to the negative 6. It's in scientific notation already, no need to make any adjustments, and that's it.